Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Clover Mini 3. So the Clover Mini 3 is a recent addition to the Clover device lineup. So here is the Clover Mini, the older generation. And I'm gonna place it next to the Clover Mini 3. The reason why I wanna do that is so you can see the difference, okay? So you can see the screen size a little bit smaller. So this is seven inches and this is eight inches. And as you guys know, the Clover Station is much bigger screen size. And here's what, what I think the Clover Mini 3 can be very useful for. So the screen is bigger than the Clover Mini old generation, and it's not as big as the big one. So one usage for this besides obviously using it as a business owner yourself to bring up customers is to use it as a kiosk. So we invented an app called the kiosk. The way it works is that you can take your Clover Mini 3, place it somewhere convenient to where your customers typically go to, and you can put a sign there saying, you know, order here. So let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna click on kiosk mode right here, and instantly the Clover Mini converts to kiosk mode. When it's in kiosk mode, the customer, they cannot exit this screen here unless they have the password. So it's password protected. So you can be self, you can be reassured um, that they cannot go to the register app and buy stuff or, or change your settings. So when I go here, it says, by the way, this can be customized. This message here, you can write different things here as a business owner. You can say order online, skip the line, um, you know, whatever message you want to write here, you can. You can put your business name here. You can put your business logo here. You can do a lot of customizations here to get the attention of the customer to order. On top of that, you can put a poster up inside your business telling your customers you have a kiosk. So again, it's the screen size is bigger than the old, old Clover Mini, but it's not as big as this one. So you may have to make a decision which one is best for you, or you can try both. You can place this at the table and you can place this at the front counter because the table, um, maybe they just need a small one. So let me show you. I'm gonna go in kiosk mode. And when I go in kiosk mode, you can see how it's beautiful, big color pictures of the food items. When your customers get to see what they're ordering or what they're gonna be um, receiving once they pay for it, they'll get to see it. Yes, they can walk up to the cashier and ask for those items and they can add, and, and then they can pay for, it, pay for it at the cashier. But offering them an additional experience by doing it themselves, may be a good idea for your business. It may not work for all businesses, but it's something to look into because restaurants now have kiosks now, like Panera Bread, I've seen Applebee's have it. Even grocery stores have self-checkout kiosks, right? So this is a good idea for you, for you as a business to entertain the idea. You can, if you have multiple locations, what you can do is you can start with one Clover Mini kiosk or one Clover Station kiosk. The nice thing about the kiosk is you can use your existing Clover device and turn it into a kiosk. So let's suppose you have three Clover devices and it's on a Tuesday and two of the Clovers you're not using. You can just come walk up to it, convert it to a kiosk with it, with, with, by just pressing kiosk mode and you can walk away and now it's a kiosk. Let's say you're getting a lot of customers and uh, maybe uh, you no longer want kiosk mode, you can switch it back to regular mode. So you can go back and forth. Here you can see what I have here. I can click on it. I can see the items within the category and I can pay with it with credit card or cash. Again, the cash credit card is, is your choice. Do you want to take cash payment or do you want to take only credit card? You can decide what you want to take. If, if, if they choose cash, they'll get a little receipt. The cashier in the back gets notified through the kitchen printer that this customer has not paid yet and they will pay for it at the front counter. If they pay with credit card, it's already paid for. It will say paid. They just pick up their food. Okay, and so let me just do a quick order here. I'm gonna choose the cart. I'm gonna pay cash and they'll get a number like this on the receipt. So what is the number for? Mine says K014. So we put K for kiosk and your kitchen printer will also get something identical to this. This is the customer's copy where they hold. The kitchen in the back, once they prepare the food, they can say K014, your order is ready. That's one option. The other option is by using the Clover device itself in the back or in the counter, texting the customer saying your order is ready. So we have two ways to notify the customer. Actually, we have one way. The other way is obviously to uh, read the number out loud. The, the best, the other alternative way, which is super handy, very easy to do, 
is by texting them and saying their order is ready. So try it out. Try the Clover Mini 3. Uh, you may already have it. You may not. It just came out, I think, last month. Um, it's a little bit bigger screen. And it's a good idea if you wish for, for, for your business to use it as a kiosk or just use it as a regular device to ring up customers. The reason why I'm recommending as a kiosk because the price point for the Clover Mini 3 is not too high, you know, like the other kiosks. And the price point is very reasonable for you to have this inside the business to use that. While the Clover Station Pro might be a little bit more costly, but if you need a bigger screen, uh, you know, you can, you also have that option as well. That's it for this video. Uh, watch my other videos, subscribe um, for more videos like this as we add more features, give you more tools to help you run your business more and more efficiently. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next video.